Either w approach would have been better. Our next movie is a film version of a popular video game. It's called Super Mario Brothers, and it doesn't work at all. This movie isn't either high or low tech enough. It's not as dazzling or as involving as the cutting edge video games that would like to mirror, and it doesn't have the traditional movie elements like compelling characters or a fresh story. I also can't figure out exactly what age group this movie was made for. <laughs> I guess I didn't like it. Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo play the Mario Brothers, two Brooklyn plumbers who fall into an alternative universe where they try to rescue an abducted college student named Daisy, played by Samantha Mathis. Security alert. Stand by for special bulletin. Mario, look! You look terrible! You don't look so good yourself. The bad guy in this film is a lizard king, played by Dennis Hopper, the movie villain du jour these days. It's melting. We're merging. Some of the minor characters are cute. I like the Goombas, Hopper's helpers with pinheads and big overcoats. Cops! Goombas! Daisy! The Rock! <laughs> And right there you see the problem. This movie can't decide whether it wants to be a flesh and blood film or a real video game. That kind of chase is boring compared with the urgency of a real video game where you're under constant pressure of time and your quarters running out. It takes a lot more imagination <laughs> than what's been attempted with Super Mario Brothers to make a high-tech movie transfer. Yeah, this movie wasn't imagined no. correctly at the outset. They Correct. didn't start out with a vision of what it was going Correct. to be even before they did everything else. Right. And so you look at the movie and you see millions of dollars on the screen of special effects and all of those customized cars and that other world that yeah. they've created and everything else. And it doesn't add up to anything. No. It's just a lot of people running around, all talking at once in a plot that nobody cares anything about. And just every once in a while, a little moment that kind of sparkles. Dennis Hopper is kind of good in a couple of his speeches, but it's a complete waste of time and money. It is. And I think, uh, you know, the timing would have been right with this explosion in infotech or whatever you want to call it, that the computers and all that. Kids are very sophisticated now. And if you could mirror that in some way, you could be a big bonanza. This film doesn't even try. What this movie shows is that it's a lot harder to make a high-tech movie like this yes. than you would think. And when we see ones maybe that we still have problems with, like Batman Returns, it's so much better than this yes. that you, you admire it more when you see something like this. Good point. When we come back, Rebecca DeMar